What's happening, bitches? Let me see if I can get some better lighting conditions here. All right, this is good enough. Good enough. I'm currently employed at Swiss Sport at JFK Airport. My hope is that once I'm there for a while, after the 90-day probation, that I can somehow transfer to LaGuardia, which is pretty much right next door. JFK is in another country, so I have to take two hours to get there by train, which is a piece of crap. Long two hours, you know, but, and, you know, if you've ever tried to get on time anywhere on a consistent basis, it's hard enough to get there in one hour. Try getting there in two. And, and, and this, well, the only good thing about it is it's part-time work, and it's only five hours, six hours a day. So I'm going to just go there, work for six hours or so, leave, and in two hours I'll be back. Which is better than the last time. I worked a full eight hours and sometimes overtime. There's a shitload of stuff to do, you see. So they need more and more people to do it, and and so on, and et cetera. I'm getting paid crap for it. But that's okay. I don't care, you know. And let me show you my hat. I bought this a long time ago. This is the... Back to the Future Lenticular color shifter hat. I never really actually looked at it through the camera before. They don't sell them anymore. This is like one of the last ones they ever made. And I got it. I got another one right here somewhere. I don't know where the hell it is now. I'm pretty sure this is going to become pretty valuable in the future. But considering that it's only five years until this thing becomes, you know, actually real. It, it's, 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 it's about what came first or whatever, you know, what influences who, art or history? What was it? Is it, is it that his art intro influences history or history influences art? I don't know what the hell it is, but anyway. This is it. It works. It really does work. You move your head and it looks like a whole different hat. You know? If any kids are watching, you can't buy this unless you buy it from eBay. Mirage Caps is kaput. I don't know what happened, but I was just back in 2005 or so. It was the summertime. I had my father's debit card. And I was browsing BackToTheFuture.com, looking for some stuff to to not buy, but I was I was I was I was interested in like oh yeah, I was trying to find DeLorean model kits because I wanted to build one, and lo and behold, I come across this posting for the actual cat from the movie, and and of course I just bought the shit. I bought two of them. The first one came. And it was all messed up. They, they they didn't stitch it right or something because the color shifting, it just turned like a purple brown. It didn't shift into all the rainbows like this one can. This one's a rainbow hat. It turns into every single color. The other one was very like piss poor design to it or something. And that's what this one does. And uh, it's a rare hat. No, they don't. They're not, they're not gonna find it. You're not gonna find some bitch like this. So I try to keep it safe. Try not to get it all messed up. And I, I remember it's from 2005 because I used to go to work wearing it. And some people were like, hey, whoa, where'd you get that shit? I'm like, dog, you can get it online. And that's probably why they're out of business now. The too many thing about it is they, 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 I don't know what happened. They, 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 Maybe they weren't making, maybe they were spending more money than they were making. That's probably it. So they had to they shut down the business. They don't make them anymore. Which is retarded. There's, there's people, every day I go out in that thing, there's kids that are like, I want one of those things, you know? So make them, make them, make a buttload of them and, and then sell them, idiots. Shit, kids will eat that crap up. Stupid. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Got to go to work some point this week. Get my ID card for JFK Airport. And then I got to be lifting bags all day.
I just hope it's a, a decent part of the, the, the thing, the terminal. You try, you try going to work and then having to go to work again, like like I used to do. I had to go to work, which took me two hours, and then I had to wait a good thirty minutes and then drive in a bobtail to a, a post office out in the middle of the airport, which took a thirty-minute trip itself. And it was like, wow, man. At least I'm getting paid for it. So I like to think, oh, it sucks, but at least I'm getting paid for it. And, and it's just bullshit because you got to take your card out and go through the security checkpoint there, too. You already did that to get into the facility where they do the, do the bag baggage room. And you have to do it again to get into the place where you... Because they, they're afraid that if you come in there with the bobtail, you're going to have a bomb with you or something. Who the hell wants to blow up a post office? The airport itself, I can understand. You got passengers coming in and out. Yeah, post office. They tight, man, over there. Don't don't be thinking you can do no no no. They they worried about that stuff now. You know, they're serious when it comes to security. That's why everybody's got to have a, a background check. But I ain't afraid of that because I already worked at the airport. So what do they want from me? See that there. Like I said before, my hair is very. Like, strange. Sometimes it's extremely curly, sometimes it's not. No. I don't know. Alright, man. Uh, what else? Nothing. Alright.